Say you have a massive pile of cash earmarked for a big, comfortable convertible, but you're not feeling what Bentley or Rolls Royce are putting down. Other than the aging BMW 6 Series convertible, which, let's face it, is a little too plebeian, the Mercedes Benz S Class Cabriolet is the only choice. More nautical than nimble. But what a good choice it is. Appropriate to its nameplate. The S-Class convertible is the biggest and most luxurious among Mercedes' 12D lineup across five model lines of cabriolets. S63 and S65 AMG variants are on offer, each with more than 500 horsepower, but the standard S550 cabriolet tested here, with a 449 horsepower twin-turbo V8 and rear-wheel drive, is the best expression of the S-Class ethos. Its lack of sporting pretensions is obvious, even when equipped, as was our test car, with a $5,900 sport package with AMG wheels and a body kit. Instead, the S Cabriolet's flowing lines, larger than life proportions, and elegant presence conjure images of a luxury yacht. Not to put too fine a point on it, but there are boat like elements to the driving experience as well. Weighing 4,786 pounds, the S-Class Cabriolet dives and pitches and rolls a fair amount with its suspension in the default comfort mode. In this setting, the air sprung ride is almost too cushy, and the body motions seem at odds with the firmer impacts delivered through the large, 20-inch wheels and their low-profile tires. Somewhat paradoxically, we actually felt more comfortable cruising with the suspension set in sport mode, which tightens up body motions without making the ride at all objectionable. The S-Class isn't among the stiffest convertibles extant, blame losing such a huge roof, with some body flex and a few unseemly vibrations cropping up on rougher roads, but neither is it some sort of bourgeois Buick Cascada. But it's still best to keep the pace calm and stick to smooth byways. Who needs AMG power? Even if the S-Class Cabriolet's preference isn't to hustle, it's certainly able to do so. The sweet-sounding twin-turbocharged 4.7-liter engine forcefully motors the S550 from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in a brisk 4.4 seconds, with the quarter-mile breezing by in 13.0 seconds at 110 miles per hour that's quicker than the rear-drive S550 sedan, 4.9 seconds, and the all-wheel-drive S550 coupe, 4.5 seconds, we tested which we attribute largely to the new 9-speed automatic that all S550 variants have adopted for 2017. Shifts are sublimely smooth, although, as in other Mercedes models, we aren't huge fans of how the transmission always starts in second gear in its default efficiency mode. Selecting the sport setting makes for less sluggish takeoffs, but that setting deactivates the engine stop, start function and avoids 8th and 9th gears, even at higher speeds. A more middle-of-the-road transmission program would be appreciated. A skid pad grip threshold of 0.88 grams and a 70 mile per hour to zero braking distance of 164 feet are impressive for such a heavy car, but remember, this S550's game isn't performance. That's reinforced by the brake pedal, which has a soft action, and the light, numb steering that's perfect for wafting around a beach town. True Luxury Beyond its dynamic attributes, the real beauty of the S-Class is its aesthetics. Inside and out, it's a truly special piece that looks and feels worthy of its six-figure price. Our test example, finished in gorgeously subtle emerald green metallic paint, was particularly delectable with its saddle brown leather interior, $3,250, and piano black wood accents that feature stylish pinstriping, $1,300. Lowering the top is a remarkably silent affair, as the expansive cloth roof effortlessly motors beneath the decklid in 20 seconds when the car is traveling at speeds up to 37 miles per hour. Another useful feature is the ability to raise and lower the top by holding down the lock or unlock buttons on the key fob. Mercedes-Benz isn't being deceptive in calling the S-Class a four-place convertible. The rear seats are snug but comfortable enough for adults as long as the front seats aren't moved too far back. All positions are upholstered in sumptuous leather, and the back seats also are well padded, there's even just enough headroom in the rear for average size adults with the roof raised.
several princely options lifted our test car to its $161,675 sticker, including the $6,400 Burmester audio system, a $2,260 night vision system, the aforementioned $5,900 sport package, a $3,500 premium package with massaging seats, a surround view camera, and a head-up display and a $2,250 driver assistance package with all sorts of active driving aids. The outlay is undeniably high, and it may seem even more so when the new C-Class Cabriolet features equally stunning styling, albeit on a smaller scale, for about one-third the price. But the upstart C can't match the presence and prestige of the real deal. This S550 is just as luxurious and stately as anything on the road sitting proudly among the titans at the top of Mercedes-Benz's lineup and upholding the gravitas of the S-Class name.